Our policy toward Taiwan has not Taiwan has not changed at all. We remain committed to supporting the peace and stability across the Taiwan Straits and ensuring that there is no unilateral change of the status quo. I would add that one of the reasons why it's so important that Putin pay a dear price for his barbarism in Ukraine. The idea that on your station today and every other station in America, they're showing bombings of every school, no, no military purpose, schools, hospitals, daycare centers, all the things, museums, blowing up all the museums. I believe what Putin is attempting to do is eliminate the identity of Ukraine. The identity. He can't occupy it, but he can try to destroy its identity. And the reason I bother to mention that is he has to pay, and you, Russia has to pay a long-term price for that in terms of, this, of the uh, sanctions that have been imposed. And the reason I bother to say this, not just about Ukraine, if, in fact, after all he's done, there's a rapprochement met between China, I mean, excuse me, between uh, the Ukrainians and, uh, and uh, um, Russia, and these sanctions are not continued to be sustained in many ways, then what signal does that send to China about the cost of attempting, attempting to take Taiwan by force? They're already flirting with danger right now by flying so close and all the maneuvers that are undertaken. But the United States is committed. We've made a commitment. We support the one China policy. We report all, all that we've done in the past. But that does not mean it does not mean that China has the ability, has the, excuse me, the, the jurisdiction to go in and use force to take over Taiwan. So we stand firmly with Japan and with other nations that not to let that happen. And uh, my expectation is it will not happen. It will not be attempted. And my expectation is a lot of it depends upon just how strongly the world makes clear that that kind of action is going to result in long-term disapprobation by the rest of the community. Very quickly, you didn't want to get involved in the Ukraine conflict militarily for obvious reasons. Are you willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan if it comes to that? Yes. You are? That's the commitment we made. That's the commitment we made. We are not. Look, here's the situation. We agree with a one-China policy. We signed on to it and all the attendant agreements made from there. But the idea that, that it could be taken by force, just taken by force, is just not, is just not appropriate. It will dislocate the entire region and be another action similar to what happened in, in, uh, in Ukraine. And so it's a, it's a burden that is even stronger.